The coronavirus pandemic in America has led to some at-risk prisoners being released from jail. One of them is a familiar name to University of Miami sports fans. CBS 4 Steve Goldstein is in our newsroom with the latest chapter in the story of former Hurricanes booster Nevin Shapiro. Steve. Well, Lauren Nevin Shapiro is now serving his prison sentence in home confinement. You may be thinking, I remember that name. He was the former Miami booster and Ponzi scheme organizer. And the story reads like a movie script. In 2010, Shapiro was busted, found guilty of money laundering, securities fraud, and stealing money in a nearly billion dollar Ponzi scheme. A year later, an investigation by Yahoo Sports revealed the boastful Shapiro's involvement with the University of Miami for about a decade. He was never shy about letting people know he was tied to the school. Shapiro reportedly gave Miami Hurricanes players $170,000 in gifts and gave athletes and recruits other benefits. He was trying to get football players to sign with a startup sports agency he was involved with. The NCAA then did its own investigation and found the university lacked institutional control. Shapiro was handed a 20-year prison sentence. And then, three months ago, the pandemic hit America. Attorney General William Barr ordered prisons to move some at-risk inmates to home confinement. 51-year-old Nevin Shapiro met the guidelines for release. He has a heart condition and high blood pressure and has served more than half his sentence. He was scheduled to be released in 2027. So Shapiro is now at the home of a family member. He will wear an ankle monitor tracked by the Bureau of Prisons and will be subject to random drug tests. He is allowed to work with approval, but any money earned will be paid to victims of his Ponzi scheme. Shapiro was ordered to pay restitution of $83 million. And upon his release from prison, according to Yahoo Sports, Shapiro said, quote, I have never stopped thinking about my victims. I'm looking forward to spending time with my parents who I need to care for. And I'm looking forward to moving forward with my life. Live in the newsroom, Steve Goldstein, CBS 4 News.